Hello guys, this is Wits Lounge, learning made easy. And in today's video, we're going to be considering a very important concept, which is organic structures. Now, earlier videos have actually been done on naming organic compounds, so please don't forget to look it up because some of the links are going to be found in the description of this video. Now, let's get into the study. Now, the first thing I'd like to say is that a structure is more like a diagrammatic representation of something. So, when I say structure with respect to organic chemistry i mean a diagrammatic representation of something and then um, um there are different types of structures when you look at representing organic molecules the first one is the common structure now if we are considering the common structure it's going to look somehow like this let's use a red color for that you have one two three four one important thing to note is this that carbon atoms form four bonds and when you have a bond between carbon atoms and usually there is no other bond to any other substance or substituent the rest of the bonds would actually be given to hydrogen so the common structure would look something like this so you have hydrogen one two three and then you have a bond here four here you have one two so fill it with hydrogen one two here you have one two here you have one two three and this particular way of representing an organic compound is what we refer to as common structure now the next form of representing the structure of an organic compound is what we refer to as the zigzag structure now the zigzag structure is just as the name zigzag which means it has the same build up however it's not usually straight you have this to this and maybe you have a carbon atom attached to another carbon atom so if we still feel it is going to be the same thing the only difference is that how it looks is kind of different you have this and then you have this and then finally one two three so this is what we refer to as our zig zag structure and that's that basically so this is the common structure here while this is the zigzag structure okay the next structure we are going to be considering is what we refer to as the staggered structure. Now, the staggered structure is more like the common structure. The difference is instead of writing the hydrogen atom singly, you just put them together. So, if we are going to write this as a staggered structure, what you simply do is carbon. How many hydrogens do you have here? Okay, let's let's fill the carbons first. So, you have carbon 1, you have another carbon 2, Okay, so if we're going to write the staggered structure, instead of singly putting out the hydrogen, we just count them together and then put it here. You have two hydrogens here, put it here, two hydrogens here, put it here, and then finally three hydrogens here. This is what we refer to as the staggered structure. So the next structure we're going to be considering is the condensed structure. Now, the condensed structure is more or less derived from the staggered structure remember we said that the staggered structure instead sort of writing out the hydrogen as single atoms you just put them together so if you have this as your staggered structure how the condensed um structure is actually gotten is by looking at common factors or common entities and then putting them together now if you look at this particular chain of carbon atoms the condensed structure tries to make it simpler or less bulky how you will notice that there's a common factor between these terminal carbon atoms you have ch2 here and ch2 here so if you put it together this is going to be ch2 multiplied by 2 so writing a condensed formula will now be ch3 ch2 into how many places times 2 and then ch3 this is the condensed formula so condensed more or less puts common factors into brackets and then multiply by its occurrence so we'll notice that this particular one is the condensed formula or the condensed structure while this is the staggered structure okay so you have that okay imagine yeah i was about to write a particular formula imagine i want you to write a condensed form of this particular um staggered structure what you simply do is look for commons now you notice that this is common this is common this is common this is common. so you have four things that are the same you simply put them together and this is now going to give us this so we have c bracket ch3 into four places this is the condensed and this is 
staggered so in writing the condensed structure all you need to do is look out for common entities and then put them together and then you simply multiply through by its number of occurrences okay let's try one more um so you have imagine i have a particular structure you have this um staggered structure and probably i have ch3 here and i have um ch3 here and i have this okay so if i'm this uh, then let's fill the hydrogen ch3 ch2 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 so if i want to get a condensed structure from this first of all let's start with writing this end ch3 and then we have ch2 now we now come to this point i notice two common things so i just write my carbon and then put the commons in a bracket ch3 bracket 2 now i also notice that this and this is common so what do i do i put them together so this is going to be ch2 times 2 and then end it with ch3 so if i'm to spread this out i'll write it as ch3 ch2 then this c this particular c is attached to two of them that's why it is solely designated to this carbon atom which means we'll have one on top and then one below then you go to the next structure so ch2 has to be in two places here that's why if we spread it out we are going to get that exact structure so that's that's about the condensed structure then the final structure i'll be talking about before we go into converting the structures to names is the skeletal structure now the thing about the skeletal structure okay skeletal structure looks something like this you have this 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 is actually an existing compound represented like this now the point about skeletal structure is this the first point is that every end of the structure represents a carbon atom so you have a carbon atom here you have a carbon atom here and the second point is every junction also represents a carbon atom so if i want to get the name of a skeletal structure all i need to do is every point i have an end or every end in the structure and junction as you just put the carbon atom there so we have one we have two we have three we have four we have five we have six we have seven we have eight we have nine now we've actually done a study on introductory parts of organic chemistry and naming alkane so this should be easy now when you have nine carbon atoms and it's only single bonds the infix should be none and because it's only single bonds it's an alkane so this would be no name quite simple right very good okay you all try naming this imagine i had one two something like this you notice that i said that each end and each junction is a carbon atom so to help you understand you could decide to just put on your put in your carbon atoms to avoid confusion put the carbon here put the carbon here put the carbon here put the carbon here don't bother about the hydrogens and because this is for carbon atoms the infix for four is boot and because this is all single bond you call this butane now imagine we decide to step it up and then try to name this compound imagine you have something like this one okay and then here here and then you have this okay so let's find out the name of this compound okay let me add a little twist here probably take this like this okay so remember we said that every end and every junction is a carbon atom so what do you simply do you start filling them you have one two three four five six seven eight nine there's one here ten then there's a junction here eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen now according to the rules of naming our canes you'll find out that our longest continuous chain has to be let's see would be this to this to this i like secluding mine so it becomes easy to notice yeah cut this guy out so that's going to be our longest chain that's the longest chain here so you have that you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen which is tridex so the parent's name is going to be tri the cane then we have substituents on if you're locating locants we're going to start from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 
13. So putting the name together, this is a methyl group. While this is an ethyl group, uh, remember methyl and ethyl you arrange alphabetically. So ethyl has to come first. So we have that this is 4 ethyl, 4 ethyl. This is also 4 methyl. Try the cane. So please do look up our earlier videos on naming our canes. The link to that particular study is found in the description of this video. So as we said, we have like five major structures when you talk about organic chemistry. You have the common structure. Put the common structure here. So we have this as the common structure where you spread out the atoms individually. Individually, that's the common structure. common structure okay you have the zigzag structure in this case you just simply play around and make it zigzag as the word looks and fill the hydrogen atoms as in the case of the common structure but this time around it's going to be looking like different more disorganized i would say so this is the zig zag structure and then you have the next one, which is the staggered structure. The staggered structure is simply, instead of writing the hydrogen atoms singly, you just put them together. So this is CH3, this is CH2, this is CH2, and this is CH3. So this is the staggered. And then you have the condensed structure. Condensed structure simply means find out common things and put them together. Then you have CH3. Uh, to CH2 because they are common and they are together. Note if they were far apart, I'm not going to put them together. So because they are like just opposing each other, what do I simply do? I put them together. We have two of them and then CH3. This is condensed. And then finally, we have our skeletal structure. Skeletal structure, every end and every junction represents a particular carbon atom. So you have this, this. So that means one, two, three, four. We have this as our skeletal structure skeletal structure so all these things represented here are talking about one element and that element is butane so if you look at it this is one two three four carbon atoms still one two three four carbon atoms still one two three four carbon atoms still one two three four carbon atoms and then you have one two three four carbon atoms so that's that on the different structures <laughs>